Hello, welcome to Crypto Task Calculator. My name is Leila. In this video, I'll guide you through the basics of using your accountant portal and how to bring your clients into CDC. Let's get started. After logging into your accountant account, um, what you will see first is your My Clients page. You can start adding the new client, putting your client's name here. Let's say it's Amy. Email is optional. It depends on if you want to share the data with your clients or not. Um, if they already have a CTC account, you can simply just put their email here, uh, their CTC account. Um, they can then accept your invitation after you click add client. Uh, if they don't have a CTC account, you can just put in um, the email address that they want to use and uh, they can create a CTC account and then accept the invitation from you after you click add client. You do not have to make a decision now. Um, this can be um, added later in your client's list. So if you don't know, you can just skip this part for now. With country, you can select any countries that CTC supports. Um, so sometimes if your client, they have um, um, other citizenship, they maybe need to pay the tax for other countries. You can just create um, like two accounts. For example, you create one United States account and then you will create another one for Australia. Please note that uh, these cannot be changed once you create it. Um, so be sure which one you need. If you want to invite your client to share the data with you, um, except for um, adding their email here, there's also another way is you can send them your personal client's invitation link. So you don't have to ask them which email do you want. You can just send them this link to them. You can customize the link here. Uh, if you click that and then scroll down a bit, you can change the invitation code. For example, I will probably say um, Layla's accounting. So um, they know this is related to you and just save. And then um, just copy this and send that to your client. Uh, you don't need to do both. You either send them a link or just add an email. And then click add client. On the client's page, you can see all the clients added. Uh, I'll go through a few scenarios here uh, around how the subscription and the uh, invitation work here. So if you look at John White, uh, the profile is uh, Canada. Um, data added is the July 30th, plan is free. Uh, it's not invited. Uh, as I mentioned previously, you can always invite clients afterwards. You don't have to um, add it at the beginning. So uh, if you put in client's email and then your name and send the invite, they can receive the invitation. And if you look at Alex Carter, um, it's also on free um, because no one has paid for the subscription yet. I send the invitation to Alex and it's pending because he hasn't uh, accepted the invitation yet. You can always uh, re-invite client if you realize maybe the email was incorrect or um, the, your client decided they don't wanna use the email. You can just send the re-invite. Uh, the third one is um, Olivia Morgan. So in this one, uh, Olivia has actually accepted my invitation. And you can see at the subscription, uh, it's client. So she paid for her subscription. Uh, she's on rookie plan. So um, in CDC, it, uh, as long as one side, it's either uh, you as an accountant or your client, um, they pay for the subscription you can both uh, using that sub subscription for um, this data set. Um, yeah, so um, you can either pay for it yourself or you can let your client pay for it. The last one is also Zhang. Um, so I created two accounts for uh, Zhang because he needs to file the tax reports in Canada and Australia both. Um, this one, I, as accountant, I pay for um, the trader plan for Zhang. Um, you can see the billing date is next year, um, August 1st. Um, I haven't invited Zhang yet, but I can always invite him. 
So um, you can just put him here and invite him. If you click on the three dots here, uh, you can either cancel subscription for John. Um, for example, if you already know um, he's not coming back next year, uh, you can just cancel it here. You can also delete the client if you know that uh, you don't need the profile anymore. Just delete the client. Um, but just keep in mind that delete client is not reversible. So if you um, delete the client, uh, they, their data is gone. Now, let's look at the My Team page. You can manage your teammate in this page. Note that there is only one admin account and only the admin account can invite teammates. You can invite as many as you need. I will recommend you to use the company's admin email to be the CTC admin account so it's easier to manage. All the teammates added can be seen on this page. Uh, you can invite the team member, put in their name, and then put in their email address and then send in the invitation. Uh, you can see that you can see that uh, you are the owner uh, last login was two hours ago and I invited Anna to um, my accountant portal. Um, she hasn't accepted yet so it shows pending. You can re-invite the team member um, if the email address was incorrect. You can also cancel invitation. There are a few things I need to mention here about the teammate accounts. Uh, first, the teammate you want to invite cannot have an existing CTC account. So if your teammate already has an individual or accountant account with CTC, they need to first change the email address to something else. After that, you can send an invitation to the desired email and add it as your teammate. Uh, you can see that here um, once you add them. Second, the teammate account has restricted access compared to yours, uh, which is the admin account. They can see and manage all your clients, but cannot see or manage the teammate list. So this list cannot be seen by them. So what can collaborators do? Um, they can upgrade your client's plan. They can also manage the client's data as you do. They can also invite a client uh, with your invitation code. Um, I hope this information is helpful. If you have any questions, please reach out to us via this in-app chat and uh, send us a message. Thank you.